Dear students, today we are going to learn the poem The Brook. This poem has been taken from Tulip Series, Book 8, prescribed by Jammu and Kashmir Board of School Education for Class 8th. Dear students, let me now give you the introduction of this poem. Pyare Bacho, the Brook poem Alfred Tennyson ne likhi hai. इस पोएम में ब्रुक एक नरेटर का रोल अदा करती है क्योंकि ये रीडर को अपनी जर्नी के बारे में बताती है इस तरह से इस पोएम में ब्रुक को पर्सोनिफाई किया गया है ये पोएम सिंबलिज्म से भरी हुई है ये ब्रुक एक इंसान की जिंदगी को रिप्रेजेंट करती है द पोएम इज रिटन बाय अल्फ्रेड टेनिसन इन दिस पोएम the brook plays the role of the narrator as it tells the reader about its journey. Hence, the poem personifies a brook. The poem is full of symbolism. It represents the life of a man. Dear students, let me now summarize this poem. The brook is a such poem that draws a resemblance in a person's life and a brook's journey. बर्थ से लेकर अडल्टुड तक इंसान की जिंदगी एक्टिविटीज से भरी हुई है इसी तरह से एक ब्रुक भी बिगनिंग से ही बहुत एक्टिव और नॉइजी होती है ये ब्रुक बहुत सारे लैंडफॉर्म से गुजरती है ये फॉरेस्ट और फील्ड से होकर गुजरती है ये ग्रासी लॉन्स और फूलों से भरे गार्डन से भी गुजरती है जब तक ना ये रिवर से जाकर मिले और जब ये एक रिवर के साथ मिल जाती हैं तो ये बहुत पीसफुल बन जाती हैं और फिर बहुत खामोशी से फ्लो करती है इसके बावजूद कि एक इंसान और ब्रुक में बहुत सारी सिमिलैरिटीज हैं इन दोनों में एक बहुत बड़ी डिसिमिलैरिटी भी है जो ये ब्रुक रीडर्स को बार बार बताती है वो ये है कि इंसान आते हैं चले जाते हैं लेकिन वो यानी कि ब्रुक हमेशा बहती रहती है पोएम में ये रेफरें इंसान की मॉटल एग्जिस्टेंस और ब्रुक की इमोटल एग्जिस्टेंस को कंट्रास्ट करता है ये ब्रुक अपने सोर्स से रिवर तक इटर्नली फ्लो करती है ये ब्रुक हमें लाइफ के बहुत सारे इम्पोर्टेंट लेसन सिखाती है ये हमें सिखाती है कि हमें हर मुश्किल का सामना बहुत ही बहादुरी से करना चाहिए और आगे चलते रहना चाहिए एक इंसान को लाइफ में बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस फेस करने पड़ सकते हैं लेकिन उसको नए रास्ते ढूंढकर आगे बढ़ते रहना चाहिए लिहाजा एक इंसान को एक ब्रुक की तरह अपने गोल की तरफ आगे बढ़ते रहना चाहिए सो माई डे स्टूडेंट्स द ब्रुक इज अ पॉइम दैट ड्रॉज अ रिजेम्बलेंस बिटवीन द जर्नी ऑफ द ब्रुक एंड द लाइफ ऑफ मैन From birth till adulthood, man's life is full of activities. Similarly, the brook is quite active and noisy from the beginning. It passes through different landforms, through forests and past fields. It also passes by grassy lawns and flower-filled gardens till it joins a river. After joining the river, it becomes quite peaceful. and flows quietly in spite of similarities between man and the brook there is one stark dissimilarity also which the brook keeps telling the readers for men may come and men may go but i go on forever this refrain contrasts man's mortal existence with the brook's immortal life many men are born and die but the brook never ceases to exist it continues to flow from its source to the river eternally the brook also teaches us many important lessons of life it teaches us the lesson of being determined by moving on overcoming all obstacles a man can face many challenges in life but he has to go on regardless of finding new paths thus man must move towards his goal like a river or a brook dear students let me now recite the poem 
I come from hearts of goat and hern. I make a sudden sally and sparkle out among the fern to bicker down a valley. By thirsty hills I hurry down or slip between the ridges. By twenty thorps a little town and half a hundred bridges. Till last by Philip's farm I flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. I chatter over stony ways, in little sharps and troubles. I bubble into eddying bays, I babble on the pebbles. I wind about and in and out, with hair of blossom sailing. And here and there a lusty trout, and here and there a grayling, and here and there a foamy flake upon me as I travel, with many a silvery water break above the golden gravel, and draw them all along and flow to join the brimming river, for men may come and men may go. But I go on forever. I steal by lawns and grassy plots. I slide by hazel covers. I mow the sweet forget-me-nots that grow for happy lovers. I slip, I slide, I gloom, I glance among my skimming swallows. I make the netted sunbeam dance. Against my sandy shallows, I murmur under moon and stars. In brambly wildernesses, I linger by my shingly bars. I loiter round my cresses, and out again I curve and flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go, but I go on forever. Dear students. Let us now move to the assessment part of the poem. Question number one: The brook finally joins the river. True or false? Question number two: The poem narrates the journey of the poet. True or false? Question number three: Who is I referred to in the poem? Question number four: Who is the writer of the poem? Question number five: What is personification? Question number six: Find out some nouns from the poem and use them in your own sentences. Question number seven: Trace the journey of the brook. Question number eight: Pick out the sound images used in the poem. Question number nine: Write a paragraph of eighty to hundred words. about the picnic you had with your school or parents thank you